I lived here in 1946, this was in the Russian sector of Berlin. When we wanted to visit the Russian sector and the many monuments and sites that were in this sector, we came through the Brandenburg Gate here behind me from the American sector, which was on the other side. At that time, everything was empty around the gate, only ruins absolutely nothing. We couldn't even go, there weren't even sidewalks, you couldn't get off the street because it was filled with the, if once you got off the street, only the street had been cleared and the rest was filled with rubble. All these buildings you see around us have been built since the reunification of Germany, not so long ago. And they are in large part, true to the form and style of old Berlin before World War II. The American Embassy here in the background was opened only last year, reopened in this new location. This is where the American Embassy was before World War II. And of course it was destroyed along with the rest of this square, which is called Pariser Platz during the war. When I was here, all this was only empty, empty ruins. On our left is, I believe, the French embassy. It seems to be, um, yes, there's the French flag, the second building down. So this was it, what amounts to Embassy Road before World War II. This is the symbol of Berlin. The Brandenburg Gate, Embassy Road, Pariser Platz. The graciousness of the old world has been in the process of restoration. It's been a very quick rebuilding process. And for those of us who knew Berlin in the 1940s, just after World War II, it is marvelous to see our city come to life again, beautiful and gracious, as it was before the war. Now, during the war, if you went on down the street here, uh, and you go far enough, a little over to your right, was where Hitler's headquarter was, the Reich Consulary. Although it was still standing when I was here in Berlin in 46 and 47, the Russians tore it down, destroyed it, and tried to sort of erase it even while I was still in Berlin, 48, 49, blockade years, things like that. When I came first to Berlin in 1946 and was here for the seven years until 1953, I could never go in the Reichstag, the seat of government, because it was destroyed and had not been restored. So when I came back in 2008 with my sons Chris and Charlie and our friend Ursula, we went to the restored, rebuilt Reichstag. We went up to the wonderful dome at the top and so that we could look down on the city. And it was wonderful. When I lived in Berlin from 1946 to 1953, it was a divided city. And there was the blockade and airlift in 1948 and 49. The wall didn't come until later. So the wall came and went without me. <laughs> By the time I came back, the wall was gone. Berlin and Germany were once more unified.
we are in a neighborhood that is widely visited by Americans. Remember the time when it was a divided city and Checkpoint Charlie was a crossover between the American sector and the Russian sector. There was no Checkpoint Charlie that I know of in my day in Berlin. We crossed through, I think it was Checkpoint Abel at the Brandenburg Gate. We went through the gate. You can't drive through the gate anymore. But it's fascinating to me to see how the whole concept of the divided city and the reunification has been embraced by Berliners and those who visit. We have a museum for the wall. We have all sorts of uh, things on sale. Memorializing Chapel Charlie. It's fascinating. All this stuff about the wall is new to me because the wall came after I left Berlin and went down before I came back. We're here in the neighborhood of Checkpoint Charlie. There are several museums and shops specialized in memorabilia from that era. It was fascinating when I came here in August of 2008 with my two sons, Chris and Charlie. Charlie likes to refer this to this place as Checkpoint Me. Some people are a bit outraged by this display because it is a reproduction of the Checkpoint Charlie. Checkpoint House. The real one is at the Allied Museum, the Alierto Museum in Dallas. But I think it's wonderful that the wall, the checkpoints, and the divided city get so much historical attention now that Berlin and Germany are reunited. werden wir vielleicht einmal später sagen, wir sind dabei gewesen, als der erste Schritt getan wurde, das Alliiertenmuseum zum Flughafen Tempelhof zu bringen. Ja. Wenn Sie sich umschauen, dann können Sie nicht verfehlen zu beobachten, dass hier schon kräftig gebaut wird. Und wenn ich das richtig sehe, dann sind wir die Ersten, die uns die Baustelle schon mal in Anführungszeichen live